Hello again, and um, this will be a three-part video related to ex understanding how the cloud mask works in Landsat 8 particularly, which is something that we saw in some of the previous videos when working with Landsat 8. So I'm going to show you some of the remote sensing um, methods that Google Earth Engine uses to create this cloud mask um, and in this first part i'm going to talk about how um, we reduce an image collection um, so you learn these three methods um, i'm going to show you how how it's done particularly the median um, and one of the things that that we have when we deal with images like landsat it's this a multiple bands per image right and and if you go to um, google earth engine let's go to google earth engine and we go to data sets again we're going to work with um landsat images so let's go with the landsat go to landsat 8 let's go to tier 1 surface reflectance and we can check the bands right we have multiple bands and um not only the regular bands, but also we have these maps related to the uh, qualities of the of the image, which we'll talk on the third part of the series on understanding this uh, cloud mask. Okay, so as you see, we have multiple bands, right? So in this figure, I just I didn't have a space for all to put all the bands, but understand that each landsat eight image is composed of multiple bands so band one band two band three band four etc etc each band is a collection of, of pixels right um, and um, we could have images from multiple times right we can have time one time two time three time four and that and that could mean multiple things it could be days it could be years it could be months whatever you call it Right and, and and some of the beauties of Google Earth Engine is that we have all that data sets in the in the cloud and we don't have to download them to our computers, um, which makes this very easy. So again, each of those images, sorry, each um, we can have a landsat image for multiple different moments. Um, let's call it like we have it for one per year. Let's let's say so we have one image for 2016. We have one image for 2017. We have one for 2018 and 2019. So one of the things that we want to do when we have all this set of images is to reduce them into one single uh, collection of bands. Um, and one of the ways that, that, for instance, can be done, it's by applying a method such as getting the median. And what we're going to do is like we have all this uh, Landsat images for different moments in time, right? And we have band one, band two, band three, band four, etc., etc. So we can get the median value for band one, the median value for band two, the median value for three, for band four, etc., etc. So, and then this is the image that we're going to analyze or that we're going to present in the map. Okay. And we not only need to be able to do medium, we can do the max, we can do the minimum, we can do all sorts of different things. And again, this is happening at the pixel level, right? We're dealing with rasters and rasters are collections of pixels, right? Like little grids like this. And here's an example of, um, of a raster of three by three, right? It's nine pixels. And here we have, let's assume that this is the band that we have for 2016, the band number one for 2016, band number one for year 2017, and band one for year 2018. And you can see the values here. I just created some values that go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in this one I go and put it nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And in this one I have one, four, nine, one, four, nine, one, four, nine. Okay. So let's say we apply the median, which is going to be the one that you're going to see that um, that Google applies to um, to Landsat images. And um, if we go 
in the first pixel, for instance, we see that we have a value one, we have a value nine, and we value one. So the median of all these three values is one, right? And uh, for the second pixel, we have value two, we have value eight, and we have value four. So we know that the median value is four. And um, for the third value, you see, so we have three, we have seven, and we have nine. So the median value of all these three values is seven. So we assign the value seven. And you should see the same thing happening for all the others. And, and this is the way that, that Google Earth Engine defines it. Um, we could also apply other methods like um, maximum value. And um, for instance, let's see, on the first pixel, we have one, we have nine, and we also have one. So the maximum value of one and nine and one is nine. For the second pixel, you see the value two in year 2017, the value eight on 2017, and the value four. So the maximum value of two, eight, and four is eight, so we assigned eight here. You get the idea, right? But the what we're seeing in this example is what we when we had three examples of band one, now we only have one, which is um, reducing this information. Okay, so now let's go to Google Earth Engine and see how is that happening. Okay, and and um, again we go to the Landsat eight surface reflectance tier one and let's open the code and again we we start with defining this function which I'll enter in more detail later on um, and we create a data set from an image collection which is the Landsat 8 um, uh, tier one right and we're selecting some dates within that landsat and then we're applying the function that we have uh, defined here um we'll talk about that on the third um video uh, of the series and um what i'm doing right now is i'm just annotating it so i don't apply um the masks uh, so but actually, let me let me run it first with the mask, um, and then and let's actually go to some place in the Caribbean. Let's go to the Caribbean. Let's go to the Caribbean. Let's go to where should we go? Let's go to Puerto Rico, which is a place that I know very well. Okay, and um, and see and, and and it does a relatively good job i mean you can see this area here this is an area where it's a rainforest so we have a lot of clouds all the time so it's almost impossible to find a an image that uh, actually had information there so it, it had clouds most of the time so let me run it actually let me first of all go to inspector click here and then let me take this values so we can then when we run it again we are in the same place let me put it here and let me also apply the same zoom so let me put it in 11. let's hit run okay so we're there okay and now let me eliminate the the function so now it's not going to do the masking so let's run it okay and now you can see that we have a lot of clouds right so we're creating a lot of clouds, but that's that's fine. So, um, but we still see some information and we're seeing the medium of all this data set. So, so here we created the data set, which is the Landsat 8, right? From all the year 2016, that's what the filter date is doing. And um, again, we have some parameters of visualization, which I have discussed in a previous video. And then we are adding the, the layer data set, right, which is this one. And here we are applying that, um, a, I would call it method for the moment, which is called the median, right? So it's only giving the median value of, uh, of a place. So if I click here, gonna get some values 
right? So now let's do this the following. So let me click here and make it get the min value. So now it's going to present the minimum value of and now you can see that actually we we get some data so so what's happening right so let's and we see a lot of black areas so before we had the medium right and I, and I told you this is an area where there's a lot of clouds usually because it's a rainforest so medium meaning there's the, the common value is going to be clouds right but now I'm saying well show me the minimum value so well once in a while there will be some values right and you will be able to see the terrain, but also I'm telling, give me the minimum value. So, well, I got a lot of the uh, shadows of the of the cloud. So that's why now we see a lot of black areas. Let me show you that so you can see it for entire Puerto Rico. It's a little slow the internet right now, but well, you were able to see the that that um that there's the all these uh, clouds. So you can see it black all over the the ocean. Right, and that's you know and there's there's land there let me turn it off so you can see so see this is all this is black and and, and you're not seeing anything and let's now apply max and now you should expect probably a lot of clouds right um, because there's a lot of clouds all the time in in uh, puerto rico so we should expect a lot of clouds right now the internet is a little slow but yeah you can you could expect that so see it's it's um all white that should be the case. Oh, there's some places here that, that had some data one day that was in a cloud. Um, because again, because cloud, it's it's a reflection of the sun. So you're getting all the highest values at that moment. So the outcome of that result is, is, is mostly white. So I think with this video, you were able to see um, some of the beginning of understanding what is going to be happening with this function.